Hey what's up guys this is Abdul Meet for Luna Studios and I'm back again with another awesome tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be revealing the tricks behind the Sherlock transition effect so before that just go subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you can get notification as soon as the video is uploaded don't forget to like and comment down what you think about my tutorials so let's get right into the tutorial I am in Premiere Pro I'm using Premiere not After Effects because it's fairly simple tutorial and simple effect it can be done with any editing software uh, it doesn't require any compositing software so first of all I have this footage let me just drag it into the timeline right here this is the first footage let me just remove the audio so here I have the plain footage it starts right here to cut the video uh, all you have to do is just press C and cut it right here like this you can cut anywhere so V for the selection tool so drag it here so that's how the video goes so it turns into black like this so I'm just gonna cut uh, the video right here select this portion and delete the extra video so here we are with our first footage so that's how I recorded it so the camera goes into this object and uh, turns black like this so here is my second footage let me just show you the second one so I recorded it multiple times like I was just behind the object I moved the camera to the right side of the object like this so here I go again and again so I'm gonna use the last one like this so just press C and cut it right here then press V select this one and delete it so we have a footage like this let me cut it right here put it above the first footage so we have something like this place this one right right here just go to this point go to effect controls select the second footage go to opacity make a keyframe like this go to the first frame of the footage and turn down the opacity to zero so we have something like this it's still a bit long so i'm gonna cut it out like this now put this video right here so that's how it looks now and i find it uh, perfect so you can play with the, this effect and uh, make a lot more creative things out of it this tutorial was uh, to just give you guys the idea of how these transitions are made so that's all for today if you like this tutorial hit that thumb up subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon and don't forget to comment what you think about my tutorial and channel that's all signing out peace